Okay. I am in. Huh? I'm not in the countryside. Ah, where are you? You're not in the countryside. Yeah. Oh, where are you? My. Right now? Okay. Where Where are you right now? Oh, oh, my camera, you? my camera is cannot open. You cannot open your camera? Yeah. Okay. You asked your daddy to put it. Okay. So now, Uyan, yeah. today we're going to have nouns. Okay, so... Uh, I want to introduce to you the grammar, which is noun. So, actually, noun Oyen is part of speech. Okay. We have, uh, wait for a while. I want uh, for a while Oyen. Okay, we have here uh, the noun. We have different, uh, it is one of the part of speech, like adjectives. It is part of speech, like adverb, like... Uh, Adjective, adverbs, like um, conjunctions, prepositions, so many. So first and verbs is also part of speech. So many part of the na uh, part of speech. But the first one that we have to learn is about nouns. Nouns are the part of speech. There are eight part of speech. So these are the basic in English. So mostly when you study in English, you have to start with this. So these are the things that you can learn in studying English. Okay. So now, Oyan, I would like to tell you or to share to you the nouns. What are nouns and what are those composes the nouns here? So this is it. What are nouns? Okay, what happened? Okay, what are nouns? First, a noun is a word that represents a person, a place, a thing. Okay, it represents a name of person, a place, or a thing. Of course, when we say a name of the person, like Oyen, Ann, okay, like Jillian, like Bob, like Hannah, okay, any name of the person, okay, so person. Person, okay, like Jillian. Like Oyen, sorry, so it starts with big letter. Okay, like oh, and. and who else? Your name? Uh, Bob, Jennifer, John. John, John. Okay, so these are example of noun. All of them are noun. All of them are noun. They are name of person. That's proper noun. Okay. Oyen, we call this Jillian, Oyen, Ann, Bob, Jennifer, and John. We call them as proper noun. Okay. So they are proper noun. Can you see when you say proper noun? Of course, it starts with big or capital letter can you see letter g letter u letter a letter b letter j and letter j okay can you see that this start with big letter or the capital letter because they are proper noun okay you understand let us make this slowly one by one okay no. okay you understand oh no you understand, Oyen? You understand, um, teacher? Yeah, the oh. name is like the name is uh, uh the name is like no. 
Okay, you understand, teacher? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at here. Okay. okay. So, yes. This is proper noun. Why it is proper noun, teacher Anne? Because it starts with, it start with big letter or capital letter. Okay. Another, I teacher will give you example. Another name of person. Okay. We have, and I say, teacher. When I say, lawyer. Doctor. Doctor. Janitor. Artist. Actor. Actor. <laughs> yeah, what else? Mm, helper. Actress. Actress. Okay. So the one I mentioned here, look at this. They are all persons, like they are people. Okay. They are a helper. Oh, they are people. Help, okay. Help people. Oh, helper. Okay. Another is a uh, nurse. Okay. So fireman. all of them, fireman, it's fireman. All of this, oh yeah, they are all people. They are prison, right? They are right. prison. Uh, they are not right. animals. They are not animals. They are prison. But, Wait. teacher, why it's small letter, not big letter? Look at this. Because it's not a uh, not name. Oh, very good. Because it's not a name. It's not proper name. It's not proper noun. Sorry, it's not proper name. It's proper not noun. proper noun. This is common noun. Yeah. This is common noun. So when I say, who is Oyen? Oyen is a student. Okay. Oyen. Yet yeah, wait. Oyen. Is it's a student. Okay, can you see that? Oyen, big letter. Student, small letter. Okay, Oyen, proper noun. Student, common noun. Okay, what's the name of the student? The name of the student is Oyen. Okay, what's the name of the student? The name of the student is Oyen. Okay. Yeah, okay, I got this. Anne. Anne is? A Anne is a teacher. Okay. Look at Anne. It's letter A, big letter. It's proper noun. But look at proper letter noun. T. T, letter T, it's common noun. common noun. Okay. What's the name of your teacher? Teacher? Uh... <laughs> What's the name of your teacher? I write. Teacher? I write. Uh, I write. Okay, you write. Okay, this is the introduction, Oyen. At least you know. Teacher will not stop or will not move to other at least unless you know. Okay? This is very important to teacher. Yeah, I know already. Okay, so you learn this. Ko Xuan Pong. Ko Xuan Pong. That's teacher. Ko Xuan Pong. Okay. Ko Xuan Pong. For Pong. 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 Ko Xuan Pong. That's teacher. Okay. So you understand this, yeah. Uyan? You understand yeah. this, Uyan? Very good. Okay. I hope you understand something today about proper noun and common noun. Okay. Right. It's so when, easy. Okay, so when I say, what's the name of, when I say ball pen? Ball pen is common noun. What's the name of your ball pen? Your I pen. The, pen. The name of my pen is, no, the name of my pen is Panda. Oh, I will write here. <laughs> oh, Panda. The name of my pen is Panda. Panda. Okay, I will write here. Panda. What's the name of my pencil? Okay. What? The name of my pencil. Where's the pencil? I have pencil here. Okay. What's the name of your pencil? Okay. The name of my pencil. I don't have pencil here. It's Booty. Booty? What's the name of your pencil? Booty. It's Booty? Booty. Yeah. The name of my pencil is... Dang. Where is it? I don't have pencil here. 
It's here. It's different. It's Hello Kitty pencil. I have Hello Kitty pencil here. Okay. And. Okay. Next is Tang. Pencil is Mungol. <laughs> That's the name of my pencil. Look at this one. So therefore, your number, look at this one. Your name or the name is big letter. It's big letter because they are proper noun. Oyen and panda. You understand? Oyen, you understand about this? Where is Oyen? Oyen, where are you? Oyen, where are you? Yeah. Oh, you're here. Okay. So, you understand this Oyen girl? You understand, teacher Anne? Yeah. Yay. Great job. Okay. So let's move now. Teacher will erase this. Okay. Now. So when we say, okay, that's the person. Next is place. Okay. What's the name of the place? You give me the name of the place. What's the name of the place? You give me the name of the place. This place. Okay. What's the name? Okay, name, example, teacher will say a place, it's Vietnam. Okay, what's place? Give me other name of the place. Okay. okay. Philippines. Okay, oh, what I else? Okay, what else? Okay, Philippines. What else? Okay, I will have... Mm -hmm. Danang. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's PH. There's PH. Danang. Hanoi. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi. I don't know the spelling. Ho Chi. Ho Chi Minh. Oh, no. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi. No, 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 no. I don't. Ah, I don't know spelling. Ho Chi. MH, like that. No, M E N H. Like that? No, I, 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 I. Okay, you're right, you're right. Okay. Okay. Vietnam. Oh, where is the spelling of put you mean? Vietnam. Vietnam. Wait. Yes. Oh, Ho Chi Minh. Ah, that's Ho Chi Minh. Eh, Ho Chi, I don't know the spelling. It's here. No, uh, no not that. There, there is a, a here. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. That one. Okay, whatever. That's Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> okay, so Vietnam. Very good. Thank you, Oyen. Okay, we have Vietnam, Philippines, Da Nang, Hanoi. They are place okay that's the name of the place okay so that's the name of the place it is proper okay it is proper noun okay so what is vietnam vietnam is country okay country vietnam what's the name of the country vietnam hurry next Vietnam country, Vietnam, Philippines. Okay, that's country. How about Danang? It's the? Not the country. Okay, it is city. Okay, city, Danang. Okay, can you see that? <laughs> Ho Chi Minh is city also, right? Yeah. Okay, it's the part of Vietnam. Look at this one. Country, 
country. Town. It, it's a town. A town. Ho Chi Minh, it's city. Ho Chi Minh City. Danang, it's Danang City or Danang Town. It's city. It's a big wow. place. Okay. So look at here example. Ho Chi Minh. I don't know Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi. Uh, just Macau. is a city. Okay. Just just consider my spelling. I don't know how to write the arrow with O. I don't know here. It's not in my computer. <laughs> I like this. Uh -huh. I don't know me. I don't know O yet. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, like that. City, when we see... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I write like this. Okay, H okay. H-O-O-F. It's like whole. Hello, yeah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay, that's... Run. Okay, I don't know how to do uh, this. H-O-O. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. H O O. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do that, but I don't know. It's not in my computer. Oh, yeah. Oh, where is it? I cannot write it. So later you will tell me, okay? Okay, here. Okay, oh, yeah. When you see country, it's common now. Of your country. My country is. Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Vietnam. What's the country of teacher Anne? Philippines. 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 Look at V and P. Look at yeah. Very good. Uyan. Letter V and letter P. Look at that. It is big letter per noun. And letter C. It is. Can you write? Can you write? What? Write Can you write home? Oh, I don't know how to write who. This one, I don't know how to write because it's not in my okay. computer. The letter O. The letter O, it's not in yeah, my computer. Can I, see, can I see you write like that? Okay, wait, I will write here. Oh, okay. who? Oh. Oh, it's who? Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know how to write this. <laughs> I don't oh. know how to write. Yeah, I don't you, know how to write this. This one. You, 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 you. You put the text is the noun and you can write who. <laughs> okay, I will write here. Okay. I will write here. Okay, ting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There is doing that. Uh, there is letter. Oh. Okay. So, Huyan, you understand this one, Huyan? You understand? Teacher, can you write who? Oh, oh, teacher cannot write. Okay, teacher cannot write the who. Okay. Because I don't please, know how to write the who. It's in not, it's hard. Please, please. Because my laptop keyboard is destroyed. Oh, yeah. My laptop keyboard is destroyed. That's why I cannot write who. I only using oh, another you keyboard. Two, 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 oh. Can you write two, oh? Can I see? Two, oh? Please. Oh, oh two, like that. Oh. Oh. No, two O. Two. Two O. Oh. Uh, two no. and O. No. What's two O? Yeah. H O O. Oh. Uh, H no. H two zero. Uh, sorry, zero. H two O. No. That's water. No. Okay, let's move on. Late tomorrow, you will tell me how to write. You no, teach me, okay? okay? Because my computer... Like because my computer now... Arrow only computer. Yeah, you can write like this. You write like this. What is that? You write like this. Hoof. You write like that. Okay, I, I can write. Oh, hoof. Oh, you cannot write in this. Ah, you this one you hole. write. You I cannot write bold hole. letters. It's the, yeah, it's the whole. G -S -S. Okay, Oyan, later Oyan, because we need to discuss this first. We'll just discuss yeah. that later, okay? G okay. Cheese. Cheese. Okay, cheese, cheese, cheese. 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 Okay, we are done with person. We are done with place. 
We are done with person. We, we are done with place. We do we How about do thing? Anymore. You give me a thing. Example of a thing. Go. Bag. I will write here bag. Okay, what else? Shoes. Shoes. Watch. Okay. Computer. Ah, uh, sorry. Laptop. And mobile phone. Mobile. Okay. So here, Oyan, look at this one. Look at teacher. So what's the name of the bag? What's your bag? Bag name. The brand of your bag. It is Barbie. You have Barbie? You have Barbie bag? Barbie. The brand of your bag. Okay. The name of teacher's bag. Look at here. Okay. This is the bag of teacher. The name is Guess. 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 Okay. I will write here. Yeah. The name of teacher's bag is Guess. Oh, that's the brand. Guess. Okay. That's the name of teacher's bag. Guess. Okay. Guess. This is common noun bag. What's the name? Guess is the proper noun. How about your shoes? What's the name of your shoes, Uyan? You tell me. What's the name of your shoes? I don't have name of shoes. Oh, you don't. Yeah. Shoes is the brand. Of, the brand of your shoes. You look at your shoes. What's the brand? You can Zip. have. Zip. What's that? You spell. You spell. You write the spelling. Z. Wait. Okay, you can have Nike, you can have Zip. Zip. That's the shoes. name of your shoes, Zip. that's the brand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Dep shoes, okay, that's the name of your shoes, Dep shoes. How about your watch? Do you have watch? What's the name of your watch? Or your mom's watch. What's the name? I don't have watch. Okay. Teacher Ann's watch name is. Teacher Ann's watch name is guess. Okay. The same with my. What? The same with my. Okay. I have here. Wait. I will. I will get my watch. Oh, uh, it's here. Okay. The name of my watch is Tang. Here. Look at this one. I have. Watch. Here, I have watch. That's guess. Wow. Yes. Guess. Oh, guess. Yeah, okay, guess. That's guess. Here, the watch of teacher. Can you see the watch? The name. Okay, next. Watch. Oh, yeah. What's the name of your laptop? I don't have laptop. What's the name of your laptop? It's up iMac. Apple? Oh, I, no, I don't have what? laptop. Okay, it's teacher. Like the name of teacher's laptop my... is Ah Mac. My thing. My thing. My things is my thing. You're using my your thing. computer. My thing. My thing. Ah, it's Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh, teacher, don't know that. Sorry. Okay. Next, how about your mobile phone? Your cell phone. What's the name? Your mobile phone. What's the name of your mobile phone? It is? Your mobile phone. What's the name of your mobile phone? Okay, do you have cell phone, your mobile phone, you have? What's the name of your mobile phone? Your mobile phone is? Hello. Yeah, your mobile phone is what's teacher? Teacher is Oppo. 
I don't have mobile phone. Oh, look at teachers. Oppo. That's the mobile teacher. Mobile phone of teacher and Oppo. Okay, teacher and it's have. only if you don't have teacher has. Okay, look at this one. Bag, shoes, watch, laptop, and mobile phone. They are common noun. The guess, the depth, guess, acer, opo, they are proper noun. Can you see that? Proper noun again start with capital letter. Common noun start with small letter. Okay? Okay, Uyen? You understand this, Uyen girl? Uyen? Look at it, you understand this? Okay, very good. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Uyen. Okay, now Uyo, about this, because we are talking noun, so teacher will show about the summary of nouns. We have here the part of speech. Okay, you listen. What are nouns? Well, nouns are one of the nine parts of speech, and here they are in alphabetical order. The one okay, we're looking look at today it. is nouns. So let's get rid of that. Here's a definition for noun. A noun is a word that represents a person, place, or thing. A noun names okay. something. It's the word that we'll use that lets us talk about it. A person might be a girl. A, a place girl. Might be a house. The thing might be a pair. Let's put up some more examples. A person might be a man. An emperor. A fireman. The place might be a city. Yes. An office. A they are common noun. The word thing covers everything else, such as an object, like an axe. Or an animal. X. Like a tortoise. Animal. Or Turn an twist. idea, like bravery. All of those other things you can see and touch, but the idea, you can't. But you still need a word to be able to talk about it. So equality. Kindness. Okay, you lost your connection. Internet is not good in your yeah. place? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's put up some more examples. A person might be a man, an emperor, a fireman. The place might be a city, just, or an idea, like bravery. All those other things you can see and touch, but the idea, you can't. But you still need a word to be able to talk about it. So equality, kindness. And we'll talk about what type of nouns these are later. Okay. Now, all of the words in red are common nouns. Okay, they are Notice common nouns. Notice that they're all nouns. written with a lowercase letter. Look at this letter in lowercase. Or... Here's an example. You might recognize this man as the inventor. Okay. Pronouns. Okay. 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 The one written here in the gray or in the blue, they are proper noun. Okay. This axe could be called old faithful. Okay. Or this tortoise might be called speedy. Speedy. Now these concepts, these ideas of bravery, quality, kindness, these tend not to have associated proper nouns. But we can. So theory, for example, a proper noun might be the theory of relativity. And that would be with capital letters. So notice that the proper nouns have capital letters. So ones in blue are proper. They have two different proper piece of noun. Oh yeah. Most of okay. them. Okay, the two of them, the two categories of noun is proper and common. This is the one being told here. The one here in yellow, can you see the yellow? In the yellow, they are in the cup slack, in the higher case, or big or capital letters. They are proper noun. And the one in the red, they are common nouns. Okay, you understand this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Understand. Okay. Understand. I'm going to leave these three common nouns up because we're going to use those in a minute. Okay, here they are. There are other types of nouns. A noun can be further classified depending on what it means or how it is structured. For example, a noun might be an abstract noun, and that's something you cannot see or touch. Remember, we had bravery, we had kindness, we had quality. Or a concrete noun, that's the opposite of an abstract noun, that's something you can see or touch or perceive with all your five senses. There are collective nouns, and these represent groups of things. There are compound nouns, and this is all about the structure of the word. It's how the word is made up. If it's made up of two or more words, it's a compound noun. Okay. A countable noun, something you can count. In other words, something that has a plural form. Non countable noun, the opposite, has no plural form. Like that with bravery. That's a non-countable noun. And you have gender-specific nouns, and these are things that are specifically male or female. So let's say the word 
mountain. Well, it's not an abstract noun. You can see a mountain. That means it must be a concrete noun. It's not a collective noun. It doesn't represent a group of things. It's not made up of two or more words. And that's not all formation of a capital noun. That means it can't be a non capital noun. And it's not gender specific. So a mountain is a common noun. Okay, look at here, Uyan. In the nouns, Uyan, in the nouns lesson, you have here the different nouns. You have abstract. Abstract noun, you cannot see or touch. You can concrete. This is the one you can see, you can touch, you can hear. That is concrete. When you say collective noun, it is a group of things. The one you can collect, group of things. Compound, it's one or more things. One or more things, that's compound nouns. Countable, the one you can count. One, two, three, four, the one you can count. Non-countable, the one you cannot count. Gender specific, it could be male or female. Mountain, mountain is concrete. You can see the mountain. Okay. You can touch the mountain. That's concrete nouns. And also, the category of mountain is this is common. This is common noun. Mountain is common noun. That's the category. It's common noun. But it belongs to concrete nouns and it also belongs to countable nouns because we can count mountains. How many mountains are there in your place? Teacher, I guess there are 50 mountains. Okay, that is countable. It means you can count, countable. Okay, here, next, let's move. Because we know it's not a proper noun. So it's a concrete noun, like countable noun. So now it's a good bravery. But you can't see or touch it, so it's an abstract noun. That means it can't be a concrete noun. It doesn't represent a group of things, and it's not made up of two or more words. It doesn't have a plural form, which means it must be a non-countable noun, and it's not gender specific. So the word bravery is a common noun. It's also an abstract noun and a non-countable noun. Okay, sorry. Okay, so look at this one. Bravery. Teacher is brave. Bravery. So a bravery, this is category of common noun. This is the category of common noun, Uyen. Okay, Uyen, what is that? Okay, this is the category of common noun. It's small letter. But this is abstract noun. You cannot say brave. Can you say bravery? No, you cannot say brave. Okay. It's not, it's uncountable. You cannot count. You cannot count the word brave. Can you count the word brave? It's not place. It's nothing. It's not person. It's bravery. You are brave. Okay. So it's non-countable or uncountable noun. You cannot count. This is abstract. You cannot see. Okay. But this is in the category of common noun because they are in the small letter. Okay, let's move here. Okay. Next. Well, you can see, Fireman, so that makes it a concrete noun. It's not a collective noun. It's not a group of things. But it is a compound noun. It's made up of two or more words. It's made up of fire and man. We'll come back to that in a moment. It's a countable noun because it's not a fire man. It's a non countable noun. And it's just a fire man is always a name. You can't fire or a firefighter, the new profession. Okay, again, it's common. Noun. A fireman is common noun. Okay, look at it's letter F, small letter. But it is abstract. You can see it's not abstract because it is concrete. You can see the fireman because it is a person, a fireman. It is collective? No. It's only one person or two person. Compound? Yes. It's fire man. Two words. Fire. Man, two words. It's compound. It's two words. Fire, man, two words. It is countable? Yes, because there are one, there are two, there are three firemen or firemen. Many. You can count how many firemen or firemen, teacher? Many. There are 100 firemen. Okay, so you can count another gender specific. Okay. A fireman, of course, this is only a boy, a man. You cannot say fireman, a girl, because it's a fireman, fireman. Okay, there is no fireman. Oh, firewoman is a girl. Fireman is a boy. Firefighters, a boy and a girl. We'll check. Okay. Fireman, it's a man or a man. Okay. When we say firewoman, of course, woman or woman. Okay. When you say firefighters, 
it is a man or a woman or it could be mm -hmm, it could be a man or a woman okay like that so can you see this okay so that is uyan okay so fireman of course like this it's only a man there is a gender specific yes it is only a man you cannot say fireman it's a girl teacher. No, firewoman is a girl. But when you say firefighters, yeah, it could be a girl or it could be a boy. Okay, so there is gender specific. It's a man. Okay, you understand, Uyan? You understand, Uyan? Okay, okay. I that. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, continue. I don't want to use water battle. This and this ice axe. This time it's two separate words, but they're hyphenated. The final is called the closed compound noun. This also is called the open compound noun. This is hyphenated compound noun. This is In the compound noun, teacher mentioned about compound two words fireman. Okay? We have a fireman. Let's finish this Uyan for a while. Okay. Fireman. Where is it? Okay. It's fireman. That is. Combine compound noun, fire and man, fire and man. But there is no space. Here, water, battle. There is a space. Water, space, battle. Compound noun again. Here, there is a hyphen. Hyphenated, it means there is a hyphen. There is a like this. Here, there is a hyphen. It's hyphenated. So, fire, man, combined. Fire and man, combined. No space. Water and battle, there is space. Ice and axe. There is hyphen. There is hyphen here, like that type. Okay, that's hyphen. There is hyphen. That's all of them are compound nouns. They are compound nouns. Oh, yeah. They are actually compound nouns. Okay, you understand? You understand, oh, yeah. They are actually compound nouns. Okay, you understand now? You understand, Uyan? Yeah. Okay. So, we have to stop until here. So, you understand the lesson. We are still nouns. We introduce about some words here, some common nouns that we have to segregate as abstract, concrete, collective, okay. compound. Okay. So, you understand? Yeah. Okay. Lesson for today. So, do you have questions, Uyan? No question. No question. No question. Okay. What happened? Why you don't have? Uh, why you didn't have? Why you don't have camera? You are not in the in the place. You are not in your country. Uh, I mean, in the countryside. Yeah, I'm not in the countryside. Uh, that's why your internet is not good. You lost your connection. Okay. So oh, for now, yeah, you're going to school today or no? Yeah, I got to school. Why well, don't go to school? Okay, okay. For now, Uyen, bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.